Hi everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com. And I also invite you to follow us on Instagram and Facebook to learn a little bit more about who we are, how we believe skin should be and our holistic beliefs and what my master estheticians can do for you. We are on day seven, if you're just tuning in, of my seven day challenge to challenge you to take better care of your skin, to take better care of yourself, and hopefully by today you're seeing changes. So you might be seeing peeling, that's a good thing. That means old tissues being removed and new tissues coming up. That was day one callus. Day two was learning how to drink your ACV and wearing a milk of magnesia mask. You should have been doing that every day and I'd love you to continue. Maybe you found that having ACV in the morning is a little easier for you than at night or vice versa. Uh, day three, I'm actually looking over here. Day three is nutrition. I hope you're drinking your water every day, not just a little bit, a lot, that you are not drinking any soda, you've cut your sugar out completely or by half or whatever it is for you, and that includes dairy, and that you're eating uh, antioxidants like salmon and dark berries and uh, uh, dark vegetables, things like that. You're putting good things into your body. Um, by day five, we uh, were doing, let's see, day four was gua sha. I hope that you have done gua sha or at least massaged your face. And day five was all about facial yoga, which I just can't believe what it's done for my muscles. So day five was facial yoga. And then day six was teaching you the importance of miracle mask or a Manuka honey and aspirin mask. So masks that are going to help you to get rid of any dark spots, any uh, age spots, any scar tissue, and things like that. So today on day seven is about feeling beautiful. No matter where you are in this great big world, going today and doing your hair, if it's in a beautiful bun, put it in a beautiful bun. If it's in a pretty ponytail, put it in a pretty ponytail. If you wanna just wear it down like I did today, wear it down. Now, many of you know or don't know, I'm letting it go gray. I don't know if um, John can pan in on the video, but I'm letting my hair go gray. And during this pandemic, I have had days where um, I think I want to color it and I feel frustrated, but all that is is our insecurities, our uh, moment of feeling stressed out and not in control, but you can be in control of your skin and how you take care of yourself. So a couple other things I want you to do. Um, day seven is again about feeling beautiful, putting on some lip gloss or lipstick. Uh, I'm testing some sugar scrubs for the lips, but right now if, you, if you're a peach, you can use your flawless exfoliate. Uh, if you are not a peach, you can just go and get maybe some sugar and honey or olive oil and sugar and just exfoliate your lips. Um, keep your teeth clean. Floss your teeth. Um, it may sound silly to you, but as a young girl, I wasn't taught to do that. Um, if you want to remember the baking soda on day one, baking soda your teeth. If you want to use a Crest White Strip or a White Strip to do your teeth, make your teeth look better. Take care of your teeth. Um, a couple other things. I already told you this in another video, the castor oil. Oh, in just one minute. It comes with a little spool that I keep in this little baggie. And I have to tell you, I have been using it for two weeks now. And my eyebrows, which I find this a little hard to believe because I'm going gray. Here's the little spoolie. My eyebrows are darker. My hair is thicker. And my eyelashes are so long. Um, I said in a video just the other day, I just have to figure out how to get them to curl better. But the castor oil is an organic castor oil and it works and it's super inexpensive. But my point is more about making sure you're taking care of your eyebrows, making sure you're taking care of your lips and your eyelashes. Um, if you have a shaver, you know, make sure it's clean, but shave any lip hair off your lip, shave any little hairs off your chin. And again, I don't believe in dermaplaning, but shaving your face is not dermaplaning. Dermaplaning is done with a scalpel. You, um, I use these little silk touch-ups. I've showed them to you before in videos. Just use your little shavers and alcohol them and clean them afterwards, but get any excess, excess hair off your face. Um, 
do not forget sunscreen right now. You've you're getting your skin in great shape. Like I said, if it's peeling, it's just things coming off. If you're bringing up any funguses or bacteria, allow it to make that happen. Allow the skin to do its job. And you can look back at the video on, I think it might've been changing skincare products and what happens. Um, but wear sunscreen unless you're breaking out. I want you to allow your skin to purge and then put on sunscreen. And make sure that you're wearing a hat. Now, here's the thing with sunscreens. You put sunscreen on, you're putting on, say, a 45. Now, I'm going to show you two that I love. And I only believe in zinc oxide. I know that some of them have some other uh, additives to them, but I actually... Um, got this and I meant to just get their Elta MD with only zinc. So that's what this is. This is an Elta MD. Uh, I love it. We've never had clients break out from it. I've never broken out. Um, you know, digressing. I have been testing this color science for about six weeks. I try to go months before I recommend something. I only had one day where I thought I had a blackhead, a little blackhead. I don't know if it had anything to do with it, but I'm really impressed with this. It is a pure zinc oxide, and it also has um, some, uh, uh, oh gosh, I can't even think of the word right now, the natural color pigments, so an iron oxides, forgive me. And those are natural color pigments, so I don't consider it like a foundation. It goes on thick, but I like that. I want my skin protected. At 54 years old, I have no wrinkles and I wanna keep it that way. But both sunscreens are fantastic, but you have to wear a wide brimmed hat. And I think the issue with sunscreens are, are that so many are bad. You can look back at my sunscreen video. And then people think if they put it on their face, they don't have to protect their skin. I still wear a wide brimmed hat. And I also have been wearing sun shirts. So this is a sun shirt that I got from Patagonia. It is so silky soft. I love that it's not um, quite a deep a cut as this shirt that I'm wearing because I really want to protect my chest and my neck now as I'm getting older. I'm being even more mindful than I have been. Um, so here's one from Patagonia. I love that it's long sleeve. I, sleeve. I love that it breathes. I live in Southern California by the ocean and uh, my husband and I love to walk to the ocean as often as we can. Here's another one that was actually given to me by a client that only signed her first name. So if you're watching, we had about 10 clients with that same name and we couldn't figure out who it was. But this is from one of my favorite uh, stores, um, uh, Johnny Was. And it is a rash guard that is also a UVA, UVB. And I don't know if I said that with this, a sun shirt. And it just goes to show that you can wear really pretty things that are going to protect your arms, your chest, um, and your body. So just because you wear sunscreen doesn't mean you can walk around and let the sun hit you. Now, do you see me on vacation in a tank top or a bathing suit? Absolutely. But I always have my wide brimmed hat on and I'm always protecting my face and my neck. I was the girl that everyone made fun of because I was in the shade at the pool or I was in the shade, you know, at when we were all outside um, or I had my big hat on and all the girls would say, well, I didn't want to mess up my hair. But you know what? Now I'm the one with the least amount of wrinkles and I'm the one who's, you know, for my age, when I look around at different women, I can really see how much sun damage they've got. So please be mindful of that. Uh, I want you to uh, make sure that you're not only doing your gua sha, but you're doing your facial yoga. I showed you a few moves that I love. Try to do them daily, even if it means getting up maybe 10 or 15 minutes earlier or going to bed 10 or 15 minutes later. Just do your facial yoga. I cannot believe how much higher my cheek muscles feel and how much firmer they feel. And then finally, I could probably say a bunch of things, actually not finally, um, please be wearing 100% cotton or silk mask. If you're having to wear a really intense mask while you're working, wear this under it or um, wear a piece of cotton, a cotton t-shirt, a piece of silk, but protect your face because so many of you are going to have issues for months to come if you don't get that acne under control. Stop wearing makeup under your masks. I don't understand the purpose. There's no need. You know you can do cornstarch. Go back and look at my mask video, but take care of your skin right now while we're all keeping each other's families safe by wearing masks. And then finally, 
Don't think that your serums are not important. They are so important. Get yourself a vitamin C that is pure, that is not synthetic. Um, our vitamin C is pure. You can read the ingredients on the bottle. If you have any questions, you can comment below. It has gold in it so it doesn't oxidize and I can't get over the difference in my skin. Now I've been testing it longer than many people have been using it, but find a vitamin C you love. It should actually smell like an orange when you open it. Don't think that eye cream is not important. Eye cream is so important. I keep hearing videos where people say, you can use your moisturizer up there. You can, you know, eye cream is something you don't need to use. That's not true. The under eye area is very delicate. We make these with a chemist specifically for that area. It can also go over your eyelid. And um, I know a lot of people have issues with their eyelids. Funny thing, I took a little olive oil and some sugar just the other day and I exfoliated my eyelid and it feels so much better because I get pretty bad allergies. But eye cream is made for that area, that sensitive area. Please don't let someone talk you out of eye cream. And a good eye cream should last you 10 to 12 months. Uh, don't think you shouldn't use serums. You have to use a serum. Now we recommend a coenzyme Q10, a luminous. It's got daisy flower in it. It has brighteners and lighteners, go to cola in it. And we also recommend a retinol or a vitamin A. I'm not a fan of retin-A. Retin-A is a pharmaceutical. It can really make your skin thin and extra sensitive where your skin can take in vitamin A in a retinol form that is buffered and non-synthetic. Your skin can drink it in and it can really make a difference deep inside. And at night is typically when you put on your serums. So at night is when you're going to help your skin to renew itself and to feel beautiful and to get rid of all the junk in your system and you wake up with new tissue or you wake up with skin that has been cleaned out so you can start again that day. So day seven is about remembering to use your sunscreen, remembering to protect your skin, Go do your hair. Go make yourself feel good. Go put a little mascara on, a little eyeliner. I have some lip gloss on. If you're just tuning in, I do not wear concealer or any foundation. It will compromise your skin. And in your 20s, you may think it looks good now, but I can tell you in 10 years, it's not going to look good. So enjoy this uh, seven days that you've learned. Keep going. Keep asking me questions. I'm here for each each and every one of you. If someone hasn't taught you how to take care of yourself or how to have uh, good self-care, I will answer any question for you. Um, you can subscribe to our channel. That would really help us to pass on the word. And um, go ahead and continue what I've taught you. You're going to have amazing, beautiful skin naturally.